Welcome to Fix It Home Improvement, covering projects that every homeowner should know and great products for home and garden. Hi, I'm JC, and this is where we share weekly home improvement tips. I'm here with my co-host, Cindy. Hello, JC. Hi, Cindy. Today, we're going to be talking about do-it-yourself security systems, and we'd like to thank Costa Dine Kremis for liking and sharing the podcast. During World War II, the armies worked with over 30 breeds of dogs they thought might make good watchdogs and attack dogs to help protect soldiers. And they found that German Shepherds, Belgian Sheepdogs, Doberman Pinschers, and Farm Collies were the best to train. Mm -hmm. And then in ancient Rome, Rottweilers were trained to protect the soldiers and supplies while they slept. Well, they're really big dogs. Well, what's wild is they even trained them to attack during battles. Hmm. Wild, huh? Well, next door to my parents, this was, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, they got a puppy, but it was half Rottweiler, half Pitbull. Wow. So my dad made friends with him. Yeah, right right away. away. (laughs) So my parents, uh, up until the day the dog died, had uh, dog treats in their house. Oh, that's funny. We didn't have a dog. But, yeah. <laughs> and no one's ever broken in the house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's archaeological evidence in ancient Egypt that wolf pups were raised alongside babies to become guard dogs and protect the family. Oh, that's sweet. And then in <laughs> ancient Japanese castles, they were building something called cricket floors or nightingale floors. And you should Google nightingale floors, how they sound. It's pretty wild. So this would alert somebody. You're walking on this, and it squeaks. It makes these high-pitched squeaks, and so it would alert the family in case ninjas were sneaking in. of course. (laughs) When you're looking for a home security system, you can get monitored or do-it-yourself monitoring. And with a monitored system, any alerts or alarms are sent to a professionally staffed center that responds 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And they can call you, the police, a fire department, depending on the type of alert and how you have your account set up. So this is what you would consider like a traditional security system? Right, yeah. And you pay a monthly fee for this. We're going to focus on the DIY systems that you can install yourself, monitor yourself, and there's no monthly fees. Well, these are pretty cool because it's all Um, through um, your smartphone. Yeah, amazing how it's changed with the technology. Yeah, very hip. When you're comparing systems, you're going to see many that are called security kits, but all they're doing is just recording video. Okay. So with many of these systems, you can use an app to monitor the video feed live, but there's no alarms to scare off intruders. They don't have two-way communication to let the person know that they're being watched. Hmm. So So you're like watching the clip of you getting robbed? Right, after the fact. (laughs) It's like, oh, what a bummer. (laughs) But if you just need video to keep an eye on people in your home or pets, you know, small business, these would be nice for... Look at the amount of storage the unit has, and then see if that video is sent to the cloud Mm -hmm. for storage, too. Video systems from Swan and Night Owl were rated very high and easy to find in most retail stores. With a security system, you want a siren or other deterrence to scare off a burglar. Mm -hmm. And there was a study done by the University of North Carolina, and they interviewed over 400 incarcerated burglars. They had an average of 12 arrests. Hmm. So they're (laughs) experts? Yeah, these are the people they ask. 41% said they chose a home at random. Only 12% planned the burglary and what house they would break into. Hmm. And the key things that they said would deter them from a home, close to traffic, close to neighbors, obvious people inside or around the house. Security alarm signs Mm -hmm. was a big one, which is interesting. Outdoor cameras and obvious security on doors and windows. And 60% said they would avoid a home if there was an obvious alarm. Most said they tried to see if there was an alarm on a door or window before they would break in, and most entered through the front door, back door, or first floor window. Mm. And then alarms and dogs were found to be the most effective deterrent for these burglars, although most of them were saying that they felt that they could either befriend a dog or do away with it, compared to an alarm that they found would be difficult to get around. Should we really be listening to these people? They got arrested at least 12 times. They're <laughs> yeah, not very they're, good they're at their They're not the kick. good ones. Right, 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 right. <laughs> So the average U.S. burglary is $2,200 worth of valuables. Wow. Many of the new security systems will have a main hub that works alone or with accessories. And the main hub can have a camera, sensors, and an alarm. And it's going to connect to the Internet through Bluetooth or an Ethernet cable. Well, they can rotate. You can move the angle of the camera, too. Yeah, amazing. If you just have a a standalone device. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very hip. To your hub, then you're going to add door and window sensors, motion sensors, smart plugs, so you can control, you know, like a lamp. Mm -hmm. 
door locks, thermostats, smoke detectors, CO detectors. You're going to have indoor and outdoor cameras. You can get cameras with night vision. No way. And then you can watch all this through a smartphone app and see live feed and also interact with the system. Nice. Why don't we cover a couple of the top rated companies and their features? So the Piper NV is a do-it-yourself system and this thing has no monthly fees. It's a hub that has a camera embedded into it. It has a 180 degree field of view. This can be used as a standalone unit or you can add accessories to it. Mm -hmm. The camera has night vision. It has, so in the hub itself, you've got motion detectors, sensors that detect light, sound, temperature, and humidity. Wow. <laughs> Amazing, huh? The alarm is 105 decibels. It is a two-way audio system. You can either put it onto a stand or you can mount this on a wall. This is going to plug into an outlet and then it has a battery backup. Mm, and these images are stored to the cloud in case a burglar tries to either smash it or cover it up. Right, because you're talking to them. Get out of my house. <laughs> right. What are you doing? <laughs> this is not your Please house. Please don't take that. <laughs> no, 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 not that. And the alarms are either, you can set this up so you can be notified by email, text, phone, or they have push notifications. Hmm. And this uses Z-Wave to connect to any device that uses the Z-Wave chip. Are you going to explain what that is? <laughs> Z-Wave is a wireless technology that uses radio frequencies so devices can talk to each other. And they use a very long wavelength so it's able to pass through walls and objects. Hmm. And there's a Z-Wave alliance. No way. So this is a group of companies that create products that work together with these Z-Wave frequencies and the operating system. Hmm, it's space age. <laughs> <laughs> Another interesting system is from Samsung. It's their smart things. And this is a home security and smart home unit. You can either monitor it yourself, so there's no monthly fee, mm -hmm. or you can connect it to a professionally monitored service. And this hub is going to connect to motion sensors, door and window sensors. There's water leak sensors. Hmm. So you can put these sensors by your sump pump or water heater. Water bed. You've, <laughs> you've got cameras, alarms, links to light bulbs. So these automated light bulbs from Philips and Cray, mm -hmm. you can adjust the lighting. Locks from Yale and Quickset. So what's wild is you can monitor, you know, if you're driving off to work and it's like, wow, did I lock the front door? <laughs> you can check it. You can connect to thermostats from Honeywell. And Samsung says that there's hundreds of compatible products. So I guess they're part of the Z-Wave alliance. <laughs> right. <laughs> Another top rated alarm is the iSmart alarm. And so it's a small I, capital SMART alarm. <laughs> capital SMART. And this is a hub with three types of cameras. And so these can tilt and pan and they have night vision. So when you're watching live from your smartphone, mm -hmm. you can adjust the camera so you can oh. follow somebody in your <laughs> house. <laughs> Pretty wild. 110 decibel alarm, motion sensors, door and window sensors, and then it has smart plugs for lamps. Nice. Another interesting system is the Z Moto Pivot. So it's just the letter Z and then M O D O. How else did you spell that, JC? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you spell it Z E E. <laughs> but this is a wireless 360 degree rotating security camera. So it has 360 degree motion sensors, mm -hmm. a built in camera in the main hub, and this is going to swivel to any motion detected. So, like if your door opens, it'll record? Yeah, yeah very interesting. The camera can also be controlled by your smartphone. You have 16 gigabytes of video storage, or you can send this to the cloud. It has temperature and humidity sensors, two-way audio, and then Bluetooth speakers. So in your main hub, you can use it to, you know. Listen to your favorite podcast. <laughs> right, exactly. It has door and window sensors, smart lighting, doorbell, air quality sensors. Hmm. And what's interesting about the doorbell, so you can answer the door and talk through the speaker through your smartphone from anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then there's video connected to it also. Oh, nice. So you can see who's there. So and, somebody's stealing your packages? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and what's wild about the doorbell is it also has a motion detector and you're going to get a push notification so mm. if somebody walks up to the front of your house right to steal your packages yeah you're you're <laughs> notified and then you can see them live and start talking to them oh, well, and you can hear them yeah um, amazing and then you can also have it set up so if somebody pushes the button you have a pre-recorded message so, so like what sorry i can't come to the door right now please don't rob me <laughs> smile you're on camera <laughs> exactly <laughs> you can use it <laughs> There's a couple of top-rated smart cameras. So the Arlo Q, it's A-R-L-O, 
and then capital Q. And each camera has its own system. You have indoor and outdoor cameras. They have a 130 degree field of vision. They have night vision and built-in two-way audio. Hmm. And they'll send you an alert to your smartphone if there's sound, if there's motion, and then you can set the level of sound. Right. So leaves aren't notifying you all the time. <laughs> and then this can record video or take snapshots. Hmm. The Ring doorbell is rated very high, and this has two-way audio and video. So if you have an existing low-voltage doorbell, you can wire it right to that, or you can use the built-in rechargeable battery. It has night vision, it comes in multiple colors, and then you can answer your door anywhere with your smartphone. So you get alerts when the doorbell is pushed, or you can set it up so if there's motion detected, it will send you an alert. Oh, nice. So you can do everything live. So somebody's at your front door, you can talk to them, you can see them, mm -hmm. and then there is a fee if you want to have storage to the cloud. Okay. Kuna is a security light fixture, so it's K-U-N-A. You can put this by your front door or your back door. If there's motion or sound, you're going to get an alert. Mm -hmm. And then you have two-way speakers, so you can talk to whoever's on your front or back porch. But And it's a, and it's a light, too. Oh, so nice. it's so it's. So it's cool. You've got this security light mm -hmm. that's watching everything that's going on by your front or back door. The Nest Protect is now the Nest thermostat with security features. So you have smoke detectors, CO detectors, and these alerts are sent to your phone. And this works with SkyBell. Mm -hmm. So this is a video doorbell. And when the button is pushed, you get a live video feed to your phone. You get two-way audio. It has night vision. It has motion sensors. And then if the Nest thermostat senses high CO levels in your house, mm -hmm. that doorbell is going to start to flash red. So if you're coming to your home and you see that thing flashing red, you don't go into the home. You mm -hmm. just call the fire department. It also can be connected to outdoor and indoor cameras. And they have two-way audio, sound, and motion alerts. Mm, nice. Why don't we cover some tips on where to place cameras? So the pros are saying the key place is the garage door, the front door, and the back door and then your first floor windows. And you can use one camera to cover a group of windows, mm -hmm. and especially your backyard. You want to get the cameras up and out of easy reach. A lot of the pros are saying nine feet is a good mm -hmm. height. And, and you want by a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you want the burglars to see the camera. Right. You want to give it plenty of room to focus, so check it multiple times with a helper to make sure you're getting a good location, also a very clear image. Mm -hmm. And one thing the pros were suggesting for your outdoor cameras in cold weather areas is to check if they're anti-fog or they have built-in heating or cooling options so you don't get the fogging. Right, or you can get covers for them too right, to protect for, them from the elements. And rain, especially if somebody's trying to break in, it's raining or snowing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think that's smart. For large homes, you want to get a Wi-Fi range extender, the Bluetooth low energy system. So if it's marked BLE, they're going to have a range of about 300 feet without the extender. Hmm. And for most of these DIY systems, if your Wi-Fi goes down, you're not going to receive a notification of any of your alarms. So some systems have a cellular backup, and then for that, you're going to be paying a monthly fee. Hmm. With the indoor cameras, you want to avoid pointing them directly into windows and doors. So you want to check with the shades open and the doors open that you're getting the best visibility to detect detail. Right. So if a burglar's in there. And then you want this head height or above to catch the best face view. Mm -hmm. If you plan on using a monitoring service, make sure you look at the contract. Many are three-year and auto-renewing, and some will sue you for the amount plus fines if you try to cancel early. <laughs> and some of them you have to let them know like a year ahead of time if you plan on canceling. I will no longer need your service in 2020. <laughs> some cities require a permit and a sticker on your door if you have a service that's calling the police if the alarm is triggered. Mm -hmm. And then some insurance companies are going to give you a discount if you have a security system. So oh. let them know if you pick one up. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have anything else to add? Well, I really like these new do-it-yourself systems because not only can you help protect your stuff in your house, but you can check from your phone if you've closed your garage door, locked your front door. You've got live video feed. You know, did I put the dog back in the house? Are from your kids the... having a party? <laughs> right. So with a system, make sure that your system is obvious. Use signage. The FBI says burglars will pass on your home if it seems like it's going to be too much work to mm -hmm. get in easy. Let's wrap this up. 
You can subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, the Spotify mobile app, the Google Play Music app, and iHeartRadio. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review. You can check out our home improvement videos on our YouTube channel, Fix It Home Improvement. And you can subscribe to that as well. You can download our books, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know on Amazon. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a five-star rating and review. You can email us at fixitpodcast at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week.